this is Paul Savetta of Windows Phone Central. Here is a video review of Monster Burner for Windows Phone. It runs on Windows Phone 7 and 8. It's an Xbox Live game and it comes from Ubisoft. Not sure if that's how you actually say that. This is sort of an action puzzle game. Um, the main... There are some story levels, I guess you could say. There's no actual story, but let's just jump into a batch of levels here. This is probably not the best batch to jump into. Not my favorite levels. Before you start, you can spend coins on the shop for upgrades and items. Here are, these are single use items. Slow down enemies. Draw a firewall. And if you buy more than one of these items, they cost more for the second one because they don't want you to be able to have too much of an advantage, or at least it costs more to have that advantage. These are permanent upgrades. You can start with an extra life unit. You can make bigger fireballs rebound your shots more. Here's an important upgrade. Doubling your coins. If you buy this for 160 Microsoft points, that's two dollars, you will earn double coins from the levels which, you know, halves the amount of grinding you need to do because it's sort of a grinding based game. They also sell coin packages for Microsoft points. Here we are in a snow base level. The enemies come from the top. You press down and hold to make your fireball grow larger. Enemies, when killed in combos, drop coins, and you tap them to collect those coins. The different colors give you more coins. This particular level has no rebounding. The no rebound levels, in my opinion, are lame because rebounding is actually a fun thing to do in this game. Enemies who come down wearing skulls take more than one hit to kill, like that guy. Sometimes you get these, if you hit them enough times, which I don't have time to do, then you'll get a lot of extra coins out of them. My life down at the bottom. Any enemy who gets through takes your life, so if you let a whole line of enemies get through, which can happen on a harder level, then you'll die. Here, depending on what score you got, you can earn up to three orbs. Then your uh, reward in coins is calculated to depending on how many coins you picked up and what all your rewards and score are. As you can see, there's not a ton of enemy variety. Some levels do actually have different enemies. Oops. Like that water base guy. Water guy's are real annoying. See that princess there? She, if you accidentally hit her, you lose a life unit. So you gotta try not to do that. It's a challenge not to kill the princesses because, you know, you're usually wanting to rebound shots. Just killed another one. So the core gameplay here, it's pretty fun, you know, just flicking the fireballs or reflecting them. I wouldn't say there are actually enough story levels, and the, the difficulty is balanced really oddly. Like, one batch of levels that is farther along will be easier than the one that came before it, which is odd. You can also unlock a survival mode and these other different modes to play. That's a good thing. Then there is a daily level. The daily levels are kind of challenging to get a high score on. And every six hours you can play Gold Rush mode, which basically just pays out more coins than other modes. Then there's Four Seasons mode, which is... It's just a series of four season-based levels. And uh, it doesn't play much differently than the regular, but I mean, you're just encouraged to try to get a higher score and try to earn all the coins you can from it. The game has decent friends leaderboard support. I mean, it'll, it'll compare your score at the end of a level with your friend's score. Often, but not always. It's a little bit erratic about whether the leaderboards actually load up. Um, anyway, it launched as a free game and now costs 99 cents for some reason. And if you do get the game at all, I highly recommend getting that coin doubling pack. So you're looking at a $3 purchase. It's not a bad $3 purchase, but it is very grinding heavy. Like, the difficulty is just balanced to make you want to buy coin packages. And that's not good. However, folks in the know will learn a little grinding trick that you can look up at True Achievements or in our review and that will save you a lot of time and money. 
So give it a try, see if you like the gameplay. If you do, it might be worth it. Thanks for watching. Read the full review at WPCentral.com.